Hey, it's time for the fastest four and a half minutes in the loco. It's time for loco lights. Where's my dog down? Where's my dog down? Great atmosphere out in Hampton County on Friday night as the Canes taking on Hilton Head and Zedekiah Raymond gets it started on a great note for the Canes. Your boy gets him out of focus, but don't worry, Kaya. We're going to get you your close up block punt for a touchdown. Home team on top. And the Seahawks just not finding much running room up in Varnville. Troy Timko was a little banged up and limited. And that Hampton County defense has been shutting down some top flight backs all season. And they were also getting the pass rush on Jackson Bybee. Seahawks trying to find something, a little razzle-dazzle flea flicker, but nah, Hampton too disciplined on defense. Bybee taken down. He was running for his life all night. Bo Sexton gets the Seahawks on the board and they're within 13-3 at halftime. And playing some great defense. Shy Thompson. Had a big night. He was just named to the Shrine Bowl for Hilton Head. But then the Canes turned to Xavier Garvin, the X Factor for a couple series, and he lit a little fire under the offense, gave him a little different look. Throw the game plan off just a little bit. Seahawks still trying to establish that run, but just not happening. Malachi Green, AKA Loco, he's back. That's another addition to that defense. And then Zion Dobson, he is him. And he is gone. Touchdown, Hampton County. The Canes roll 26 to three. They are five and zero, up to number five in the Class 2A poll statewide. Over on Ladies Island, we had the WHHI game of the week, May River against Beaufort. You can catch the replay all week on WHHI. And you've got the Eagles settling for a field goal try, and they miss it. A short one, a chippy. Doesn't happen often, but the field position game works out. Bad snap from May River. Special teams miscues go both ways. Eagles again settling for three, but they get zero. May River defense bending, but not breaking. But then Jaden Andrews, he has a way of breaking you. Oh my goodness. Look at the moves on this kid. This guy's relentless. He'll wear you down. Just a 2-0 game at halftime, though. Two-run shot by Hudson Mullen and nothing else until Gage Duncan lights a fire under May River. Sparks something on the opening kickoff of the second half. Takes it down near the 30, and a few plays later, it was Tanner Macy having a great season. He was over 100 rushing once again. He has been terrific at quarterback. But Jaden Andrews has been the spark plug on offense for the Beaufort Eagles. He is so hard to bring down. Picking up extra yardage after the catch. And then the defense sticking tight as Keon Rivers and Will Cotting leading the charge to make the stop. And then it's Elias Johnson. Running back by committee has kind of dissolved with Andrews taking the lead role, but Johnson gives him a nice burst off the bench down to the one. And then it's Andrews bursting through out of the Wildcat. Touchdown Eagles, they would win it 16 to 13 in a battle on the Isle of Ladies. Just around the corner, it was BA taking on Orangeburg Prep, and they've got that one two punch of Devontae Green and Jackson Porter. Green taking this one 95 yards to the apartments, and then you've got Jackson Porter with the game winner. BA wins it 28 21 in a battle with OP. Eagles are 5 0. Whale Branch Warriors taking on Burke at home and Alonzo Allen laying some wood, son. Oh my goodness, he had a fantastic night. The offense put up 62, but it was spread all around and the defense was phenomenal. Pitching the shutout with Allen leading the way and then he got in on the scoring action too. Turns on the Jets, fast forward, touchdown, Zo. Warriors roll big, 62-0. Bluffton Bobcats at Battery Creek and the defense doing work. Sebastian Tollefson jumps the floater. He's going the other way to the crib. Just going to hang out down there for a little bit. Bobcats get back on top after trailing early. And there's Jeremiah Curry. You might know him as a dude on defense, but the dude can run the ball too. My goodness. This is a Division I football player, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it looks like. 
Curry, a big night. Bobcats win big. And then you've got Hilton Egg Christian Academy up the road at Northwood Academy. Reed McCollum had a huge game on defense last week. Getting in on the action on offense this time. He finds A.J. Hopp, who goes all the way down the sidelines for a touchdown. But it's still Dylan Clark's show on offense, and this is why. Look at the moves on that kid. Eagles, another big win on the road. Thomas Hayward against Dorchester Academy, and it's the Tony O'Banner show. The kid's doing his best Cam Newton impression out in Ridgeland. Touchdown, Tony had five of them on the night. Thomas Hayward shocks Dorchester. 34 to eight. Rebels have won three straight. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco.